Hi guys, Shelly here. Just wanted to take a few minutes to show you just a few quick tips around the kitchen. All right, so I wanted to talk to you today about um, what are you drinking? Now, I know that we're all kind of stressed and our options are maybe limited because of what we have at the grocery store or what we have at our home and we can't get at the grocery store. But I did want to give you a couple of healthy options, a couple of things that I do. Of course, there's always just plain water. We need uh, plenty of, of water in our diet. I don't believe in overdoing water, but I do believe that we need more than what what most normal people are drinking. And uh, this is one of my favorites. This one is empty, but this is Zevia. <clears throat> you see that? This one is ginger root beer. And it is just carbonated water, stevia leaf extract, natural flavors, and citric acid. Um, there's no artificial flavors. Uh, there's no artificial colors in their drink. So no matter what flavor you get, it always comes out clear. Now, um, if you're used to drinking Cokes, then it's gonna be kind of a rude awakening to switch straight over to this. Um, but if you've been off of sugar for a little while, um, I love these. I don't have any problem at all with these. And they're a little bit expensive, like at Kroger, so what I do is um, I have a um, alert set up on Slick Deals online that if there's a deal where Zevia is on sale somewhere, usually Amazon, it'll alert me and I'll go to Amazon to buy it. And usually I get a case of them, which is four six packs for like $16. So it's not that bad compared to grocery store prices. Now what I'm drinking right now is hot tea. Um, you know, there's just so many flavors and varieties of teas, but they're all really good for you. This one is hot cinnamon spice. It's my favorite. And I just add a little bit of stevia to it. This is my Trim Healthy Mama stevia that I just keep in a jar. And it comes with this little bitty tiny scoop. It's like 132nd maybe, I think. I don't remember what the measurement is. But anyway, it's really small, and I just used a scoop of that. This is another really good drink, the buy drink. Um, this one is the coconut. They have coconut pineapple, and they have some others, but I really like the, the coconut pineapple. Um, this is sweetened with um, stevia as well. I'm trying to look, yeah, stevia leaf extract. Doesn't have a whole lot of stuff in it. I don't drink these all the time. And um, these are also a little bit expensive and maybe not for most people. I'm just very frugal to say the least. And I forgot to bring one thing out. Let me get it. I wanted to show y'all something. Now I told y'all that I, um, I do kind of trim healthy mama part of the time, keto part of the time. And Trim Healthy Mama has what they call Good Girl Moonshine. And all it is is water, apple cider vinegar, stevia, and whatever flavors you wanna use. Um, if you can go to Pinterest, um, you can just do a search. You can find tons and tons and tons of different recipes. Um, so just find something that suits your taste, but it's really a good alternative to um, just plain water or drinking something carbonated. But I wanted to show y'all first how I do mine. And um, this is my apple cider vinegar. And I do not drink alcohol. I know this is an alcohol bottle, but I do make my own extracts, like vanilla extract out of vodka. So I keep the, the glass bottles and I do not measure, I probably should. If you're not used to drinking something with apple cider vinegar, I suggest halving whatever is in the recipe and um, then going from there as you get used to it. This is a Meyer lemon and it's been sitting around longer than it should, so it doesn't have just a ton of juice, but it's plenty for this. 
We are really trying to get our vitamin C in right now. I don't know if you can see our our oranges. We all eat um, probably three to four oranges a day. I was able to make a Kroger run this morning and got more because we are all trying to get um, that vitamin C in as much as we can. Somebody keeps texting me, so y'all hear the ding. Um, I'm just going to add, I'm probably going to add like two scoops of the um, stevia. Oh, I forgot to get a spoon as well. Get this in. I'll stir it up. Now, if you have sensitive teeth, if you have trouble with the enamel on your teeth, you are gonna wanna drink this with a straw. I usually drink with a straw anyway, even at home, um, but that will get all of this acid past, um, past your teeth. So you won't have any trouble with that. So there's another option. They have like cream soda, Good Girl Moonshine. They have all kinds, using all kinds of different flavorings. So I just encourage you to experiment. But this is one thing that I really wanted to show you guys. And I should have done a better job at getting all of my stuff ready before I started videoing. I wanna pour just a little bit of this out. So this is just Kroger brand cheap apple cider vinegar. And if you know anything about apple cider vinegar, you, you really want the one that has the mother in it. Let's see if you can see all the stuff floating around in there. You might not be able to see on the video, but the mother is the good probiotics that are in um, the Bragg's um, vinegars. Um, so you will see dark little chunks in here. This store brand apple cider vinegar does not have the mother in it. So what you can do, shake this up really well so the mother is distributed in it. You can dump some with the mother into here. And you do not want to cover this like this. I'm gonna get a small piece of cheesecloth to cover this and just put a rubber band around it so that it can breathe, but it will um, it will ferment basically this entire bottle. So instead of buying the uh, five dollar small bottle of Bragg's that has the mother in it, or I think Kroger brand, they even have one that has the mother in it. You can get the cheap one. You can get the big um, gallon one. They didn't have those today at Kroger. I don't think this is a gallon. No, this is two quarts. Um, but you can do this, put it in a dark place. I usually set it um, in our laundry room under the laundry sink. It's dark in there. Leave it for a couple of weeks and you will have apple cider vinegar that has the mother in it. So it saves you a little bit of money. You have a healthier vinegar that you can use for all different kind of things. And um, it's really, really good for you. So that's all I've got. I've got to go cook dinner for the family. And uh, let me know what you drink. What is your healthy go-to? I'm trying to get off coffee a little bit just because um, I like my coffee with cream. I, I've, I've learned to do it with, with stevia, but I really like um, heavy cream <laughs> or half and half, but um, just trying to get away from dairy a little bit more. So I'm trying to get away from coffee. I might do one cup uh, if it's really cold or something, but um, I'm fine with hot tea. I do uh, Advocare Spark in the morning before my workout, and that helps get me going. It has a lot of vitamins in it. So um, that's what we do, and we'll see you later. Bye.